Hello and welcome back everybody to the Uni Rocketeers World Championship Swiss Rounds and after a win and a loss the Saints are here to tip the scales one way mm -hmm. or another and now they're going to travel across the world to the other side of the world and <laughs> face under. off against the University of New South Wales from Australia. Absolutely, and the Saints, like we mentioned, coming off of a win and then into a loss. I'm sure they have a lot they want to prove to themselves and to everybody watching from home as well that they are more than capable of taking this game away. Uni Rocket, uh, sorry, the University of New South Wales is also, you know, coming off of I'm assuming a win and a loss as well. Maybe a similar record. If Swiss rounds are working the way they usually do. They want to make sure that they're coming to the series, and either way. Winning this matters a lot because it you're does. either one win away from eliminate, mm -hmm. uh, from you know qualifying to the playoffs, or one loss away from getting eliminated. So this is going to be the, probably the most mom momentum-based and intensive game that either of these teams can be getting into. So I'm sure the nerves are kind of raking up here as we get into this game one against uh, University of New South Wales. Yeah, this is it. The scales are going to be tipped one way or another. The Saints just hope it's in their favor. Now, New South Wales starting things off with an aggressive play, but getting demoed right off the bat is not going to be too good. The Saints have a good setup here, but a nice clear from New South Wales is going to put them in the clear. And now <laughs> Tatagain is going for this ball, eyeing it across the map. Kazi trying to find something here, trying to get a setup with his team, but the clear from the Saints is looking oh so good. And now that's a good setup from the Saints. Nets wide open, just needs someone to dunk it in, but no one's there to do it. Unfortunately, but hey, Saints going for a shot, crossbar. No, rather that's uh, University of New South Wales going for the shot. Saints gonna be able to defend that one. Diggs trying to climb up, finding that interception, and uh, Kazi shooting that. It was a bit of a sniper shot off the mark a little bit. Ben, ooh, wow, Kazi getting that rebound shot, turning it into an opportunity and a goal. Saints weren't able to predict or defend that one. Ben was close but could not intercept, and that's going to be the first point on the board for University of New South Wales. An incredible play. Excited to see what they want to do for this next interaction. Yeah, as this next interaction is going to be absolutely imperative. The Saints need to get a foothold here, but it's looking like Diggs almost dug their own grave right there as nice. the Saints are not looking very good right now. Kazi getting a demo, doing nice, applying a lot of good pressure on Wales here. I don't know if it's going to be enough get them back uh -oh. in this because they have no defense to speak of and Tatagane gets one from across the map. Very clean play and as you can see that shot again it was more of a self pass kind of thing and then just into the net bounce off the post but found its way in the end found its way home 2-0 right now for University of New South Wales Saints struggling quite a bit ultimately though I, I just feel like as simple as it might sound, this is just this is just Rocket League, ladies and gentlemen. There's no rocket science here, despite rockets being a plentiful on this field. This team is just playing better than the Saints are right now, and they're finding their marks the way they need to. Their aims, their shots, their interceptions, all of their play is just going more smoothly than the Saints are. And they really need to tighten things up and find a way to put it back together. I'm confident that they'll be able to do so, as you already see them kind of reinvigorating their offense, going for a nice shot, but unfortunately not going to find the mark, but it is going to find its way home eventually. I think Christian got a rebound off of that shot there. Let's see that replay. That was the first shot, and then the second... And Christian off wow, of the third. save, passes it back. And unfortunately, South Wales teammates were not in, in place to get the save. Third time's the charm for the Saints. And now they just need to get one more goal in here. But wow, with a shot like that from the Wales, it's going to be very tough. But Ben, with an amazing save. Amazing, epic save, one may say. And we're seeing Diggs slowly steering that ball back to Orange. Vesh gonna get that intercept off the wall to the corner. Trying to send that straight to the net, actually. Christian there with the miraculous save. Epic won't even encapsulate the grace that took. And somehow getting a Christian, a, a, oh getting my. a demo and shot oh. as well. Christian. Yeah, that's so much pressure. Vesh Woo! cleans it up. I don't even think he meant to get that demo. That did not yeah, look I, like, look at that momentum he had there. That was pretty slow just landed on the guy and, and it cleared him. him out which got them the goal to hey, we take those right christian the all-star kind of doing everything their self pass into the shot into the demo into the rebound vesh able to kind of finish that off <laughs> nice trade these guys must not like each other very much uh not digging christian but 
Now Christian looking to uh, face down his rival. He's going to go over him instead of through him this time. Vesh now right in the corner. Going to get intercepted by Kazi. Ben still fighting in the corner. Neither team wants to give up control of it. Vesh still trying to wrestle control back. Diggs up off the ceiling potentially no just gonna tap it keep it right in front of the net and kazi from the long range shot this is a very i'd say uh -oh. this uh oh yeah an error well we are connecting across the entire world <laughs> yeah so this is almost to be expected it's a miracle that this is even playing right now honestly yeah. <laughs> australian false uh, alarm apparently australian online games are kind of known for struggling quite a bit ben's and dig <laughs> trading each other out once again um, but happy to have the australians here of course you never get to see them very much uh, especially in online games like i mentioned but here they are and they're putting up a very good fight against the university of new south wales ben waiting on that center try to wrap around doesn't want to get too overzealous make sure he's playing patiently very smart play halfway across the field Dix is still going to come in from the save from that shot from christian vesh chasing heavily ben is able to steal that one away while he was taking it back over to blue now meeting the ball mid-air as it approaches the net christian taking it all the way back to the opposite side now kazi trying to do the same vesh unfortunately a little bit too far behind as Diggs takes that down from the wall over back to the center but ben Ben stops that from getting in. Vesh doing the same of the rebound shot that Tatagane was making is not going to find its mark. Ben is still playing patiently as Christian from behind bounces that back up, tries to chase that ball down, but it's going to get bumped out of the way. One minute remaining, two to three. The Saints just need one more to tie things up, but the pressure is not relenting from the University of New South Wales. The pressure is unrelenting. There's still one point in the lead. The Saints are not in the clear yet, even though they're making this one close. Vesh getting a nice pass, but the defense from South Wales is absolutely imperative here. But wow, they wow. get it past the demo with his last life, his last legs. Last thing he does is give it one last dink and that's enough to get them tied score here. Beautifully played. Christian sacrificing himself for his clan there and it still paid off in the end. 3-3, three to three, 40 seconds on the clock. Is this going to be an overtime or we're going to see one of these teams eke out a score before we hit that critical timing. Now, Kazi chasing it up off the ceiling, down towards the center. Diggs going for the shot. Going to get interfered with by the Saints. But another shot coming out. Kazi and Vesh kind of kerfuffling a bit. But Ben's going to take that to the center. It's going to get Met in the air by Tatagane. Ben trying to make that happen still. Passing it up forward towards Christian. It's going to get popped back up from the center towards the middle off the cross post. But Ben now chasing it as it gets rebounded. Christian taking the shot from blue side towards the center. Tatagane riding the wall. Catching it. Making sure it doesn't hit the ground in an unfavorable position. Ben meeting that in the midair. Diggs taking that one all the way to the ground. Tatagane going for the shot. Actually almost finds it. But as the ball slowly winds down towards the ground. Actually, Christian keeping it up still. Hey, Kazi keeping the flame alive. Christian going to bump that one out. And now we're back to overtime here. Ladies and gentlemen, the first overtime we're seeing today, 3-3. Three to three, First to get a goal wins game one. And Ben wants it bad. He's going to take that off the kickoff demo play, taking it to the corner, towards the center, off the ceiling. It's classic as you can get. Wow. He's going to find it. Beautiful, classic Rocket League play. And they find it right off the kickoff. 11-second overtime. Couldn't ask for anything sweeter than that. Such a clean way to end it, I must add. Ten seconds in the overtime. And now that was the closest game we've had yet. Our first overtime of the day. Mm -hmm. And that makes me so much more excited for the next few games we have in store. And wow, what else is there to say other than what a matchup. What an even matchup as well. Absolutely. Two teams halfway across the world, and they're still <laughs> close in skill level. Yeah, uh, Ping will not make this match any less exciting. And I really think, like you mentioned, the main part as what made that exciting to watch is the fact that it was so close. Trading the goals constantly. I think uh, University of New South Wales was able to find the two lead advantage or two goal advantage at the mm -hmm. start and then Saints had to kind of catch back up and they started trading here and there uh, as the rounds went on. But still, that's just game one, ladies and gentlemen. Both teams need to win three to win this series and the Saints up one game. I still feel like it would be a huge hill to climb to take two more. And of course, University of New South Wales, all the way from Australia, I'm sure that they are feeling the same way. You know, three more goals, it would not be easy, but they got to do it regardless. 
They have to do it. And wow, starting things off hot in the first seven seconds. St. Clair College landing a goal. And once again, it's just a clean one. Vesh always in position to really make the most off of op all the opportunities that his team's sending his way. Christian fairly doing something similar. Ben catching that ball mid center field. Vesh from the center straight towards the net, but a beautiful save mid air, top right of the net. Tatagani is going to get that one. Kazi now taking this over the corner. Ben leaping from the net to meet it over there, get that cleared out. Ben now also leaving from the net midair to stop the ball from advancing into the goalie's uh, zone there. Vesh riding the corner. Now Kazi trying to get it, to, but Christian all the way from the other side of the field is gonna get there faster. Diggs taking out Ben and Vesh chasing the ball as Diggs goes for the shot from the center, uh, center and Vesh now passing that from center field over to orange side. It's a very dangerous game of cat and mouse chasing give and take, but as the Saints slow things down right in front of the net of University of New South Wales, they're not gonna be able to get that shot. They're gonna be able to clear that out, pass it back over to blue side and they're still fighting for possession of the ball. Fight and fight. They may try, but St. Clair is going to keep on the pressure. Good shot and good aggression from South Wales. They need to get that back in their favor. They need to swing the pendulum towards themselves, but it's going to be St. Clair continuing to carry on the narrative of this game. They're leading it right now, and look at that defense there. They're clearing out very, very well every single time. Ben trying to engage here. Christian going to carry it up into the corner. Waiton being patient. That's what I like to see from the Saints. Not being too aggressive, not being too reactionary. They're making decisions when they want to. Absolutely, they're playing on their own time, on their own terms, and that is the best way to feel comfortable in any situation. If you're doing it on your clock, you don't have to feel like you're rushing, and the Saints, with that one goal lead, they have no obligation to get anything done. They could go the rest of the game sitting completely still with University of New South Wales, and the Saints would still end up winning the game because they have that first goal. University of New South Wales, they have the pressure, but with two demos coming out and a ball going straight towards the net, that's going to be a roller. No one's going to be able to stop that one and that's one of those rare moments where I feel like the demos really made that play 100% possible this would not have happened exactly. otherwise and uh, those demos were really critical in making that happen yeah if you only got one guy on the goal He's the other side of the take field, him dude. out yeah everyone else is gone that's gonna be a very successful shot on the goal for them wow very good opening shot for South Wales but not going to find all too much value after that. Diggs going in, and wow, Saints almost got an amazing goal, but it was off the crossbar. Not going to let that chance pass up, though. They're going to keep on the pressure. Have to go on the defense, though. South Wales getting a triple clear there. And now off the crossbar, Ben sets up something up, but Vesh unable to sink it in. Go for a rebound. Can they get anything out of this? No, it's going to go back over their side. Vesh, though, going to be the one leading the charge. He has the Ooh, most boost. Pass. Very good shot. It's going to get blocked out. Yeah, that was that looked really good. Passing himself basically from full field. Diggs playing guard dog here, kicking the ball out. It's time has run out over on orange side and is renewing its license because Vesh looking to send it back over. Passport renewed, traveling internationally across the border of center field, but it's rolling back towards blue. Vesh with a nice save slash pass over to Ben. It's gonna go over. Vesh chases wow. the pass all the way from the net into the goal of. University of New South Wales, look at that from the save, a fake out from Ben. So they're trying to play around the intercept from his teammate. That was more like a pass, faked it out and just chased it straight into the net. They were not able to adjust in time. That's going to be a goal for St. Clair College. 3-0 so far, a lot less close than that first game. But like I mentioned before, University of New South Wales started game one with a two goal advantage wow. and almost finding one there. This is still anybody's game, ladies and gentlemen. The Saints could lose their advantage in a heartbeat as long as they, uh, you know, if they don't play at their 100%, they cannot get complacent. And I feel like uh, University of New South Wales will be ready to capitalize on any mistakes the Saints might make. Yeah, New South Wales getting a very nice shots on the goal time and time again. The Saints just having the defense to catch up for it. They can easily come back if the Saints don't put them in check here. You can definitely tell they're always being threatened. But they say the best defense is a good offense, and that is what the Saints are taking to heart here. You can tell they're getting right into the thick of it on the orange side, trying to disrupt any approach. That's going to be a nice approach from New South Wales, but there's the disruption from Vash and the rest of the team. 
shutting every opportunity down. They're chasing them every time they go for the ball, and they know where the University of New South Wales wants to be, and a nice two-man assault on the net, passing back and forth. Really, 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 what can you do? Diggs missed that intercept, and unfortunately, he even kind of saved the ball twice there, but with two guys chasing you down, you really can't do too much, and that's going to be 4-0 so far. 45 seconds on the clock. Can South Wales make something happen here? That is the question. Will they be able to make this one happen? I don't know. With the Saints already threatening another goal, it's not looking likely. Kazi trying to make a blitz here with 30 seconds left on the clock and four goals to make. This is looking like the Saints have this one locked in. Hey, but Diggs getting an aerial demo. Not every day you see that one. Vesh looking for that. Going to lose a 50. Christian bouncing it off his bumper. <laughs> Bumping it off his bumper would have been more appropriate. But here we see Diggs going for that goal. And still, it was really just trying to find his way in, but could not get all the way. And this is going to be a zero game for New South Wales as St. Clair College takes this one. 4-0 in this game too. One away from being one step closer to making it to playoffs. Can the Saints make this happen? Yeah, that is going to be the question here. It's looking like a likely possibility. You know, they're one away. Seems like they're just getting better as time goes on. So I would have to say this is looking like a clean sweep, but I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility for New South Wales. Just try and tie this one up. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we mentioned before, Saints are a little bit of a slow start, so it makes sense that the game one they were struggling a bit. Now we're seeing it. This is usually what we see from this team. They're finding the stride. They're making the most of the opportunities that are presented to them, and they're always playing around each other. They're not cleaning up after each other necessarily. They're not making mistakes and relying on the team to pick it up. They're all being where they need to be when they need to be there. But we're on my favorite map as we head into this next game, potential final game of the series. Christian already getting the demo, coming out strong. Ben chasing from the center off the wall, playing patiently, waiting for the ball to find him. Fortunately, that uh, shot from Vesh is going to hit the cross post, and it's not going to bounce hard or fast enough for uh, ben to be able to take that shot, but he's going to be able to find that ball over on the wall, left side of the field, Tatsugane waiting for his opportunity, passing it back up to him, bouncing it off his bumper. Once again, Ben riding the wall off the cross post, taking it out of the corner thanks to Christian's assistance, but no, Tatsugane is going to steal that one out, and it's actually going to be a goal as no one was ready to intercept that pass into a shot there. And maybe we're going to see a reverse situation of what happened in that last game. I mean, that was absolutely insane on the side of South Wales, starting things off through so seconds. It's looking very, very good. And now the Saints have to play on the back foot, which they really do not like doing. We've seen it in game one. They have trouble closing that gap. They try and play very aggressive, try to close that gap as soon as possible. That's also the chance for your team to make that back. Like right now, the goal was empty for a good few seconds there. One good shot, and that would seal the deal. Sealing the deal might be Vesh's middle name as he was looking to get close. He had a vacuum cleaner and a plastic bag. He wanted something airtight, but not able to find it. Just chasing the ball down. Ben now off the corner, off the wall, Vesh chasing it slowly. I love that they're playing slow. They're playing patient. They don't want to rush the ball down. They wait to see where it's going to go, and then they pounce. Tatagane, try to cradle that forward. Christian going to strike at the perfect opportunity. Vesh intercepting that, tapping that away from Kazi, not letting him get possession and taking it where they want it to. Vesh going for that shot. It's a little bit of an overshot. It's going to get bounced away, but Christian oh. off the wall. Thankfully, oh. Kazi's there to stop that one from going in. Vesh now playing patiently. Ben's getting a great Aggressive, real aggressive digs is going to meet that one in the air. Send it over the Saints. Kazi off the cross post. Trying to clip that in, and he finds it off his front wheel. Sending that in. Three minutes, ten seconds remaining. And University of New South Wales already found two on the board. Saints, they've been trying and trying and trying, but they have not had any success in taking anything all the way into the net. Yeah, they had no success to be found there. And now the Saints really going to have to close a gap, but they're running out of time. We're already two minutes in or so. They need to start playing. They need to start playing a little bit quicker. They cannot give up any more ground. Right now it's a closable gap, but one more goal, and I would say potentially it could be uh, 
a lost cause at that point. Diggs shoring up the defense here on the side of South Wales, doing an absolutely amazing job. Ben going for a setup, can't quite find it. Christian going for a setup once again. But it seems like New South Wales has found the wrench in the Saints' plan. They're just hanging out around the sides of their mm. net. That is where the Saints usually end up flying to instead of in that center position. Because while it's the obvious shot, it's a little bit too easy to defend. So the Saints like to go for those bank shots. Christian trying to keep the pressure in front of this orange net. Now Vesh playing with Christian on that front line. Christian's gonna bounce that one towards the center. It was a bit of a floater, too high up. No one's gonna be able to take that shot. They're so they're taking it slow and resetting. Christian passing back to orange side. It's a high flyer. Ben's just gonna miss that one, but still pressure is mounting. Diggs trying to get this one out, but Vesh playing slow and right in front of him is gonna stop him from clearing it out. It's gonna be another center. Again, a little too fast. No one's gonna be able to follow up. Vesh slowly taking this one into the center. Christian gonna jump forward, take the shot and there you have it when the Saints play slow and steady they win the race but they still have one more lap to go to tie this series and uh, hopefully or sorry tie this game University of New South Wales leading by one point still one minute 50 seconds remaining if the Saints can maintain their strong defense I'm confident that given enough time they might be able to find one more goal but still University of New South Wales has to just maintain this pressure maintain this advantage and don't allow the Saints to do anything to uh too impressive otherwise they might uh really start kicking themselves if they let this one slip away from them yeah this is looking uh, really good for the saints right now it's a closable gap but right now south wales is still in the lead and still leading the pace of the game if you were gonna ask my opinion but hey you don't have to ask my opinion you can see it happening right here the action is right in front of us ben is going forward here leading the charge kazi trying to defend it and now it is even two to two the saints coming back from the brink 107 on the clock two to two you might as well just say hey guys this is a sudden death one minute on the clock first point wins and I feel like no team can perform properly under that kind of pressure, but someone's gonna have to come out on top here unless they wanna send us to another overtime, but the fatigue might be setting in. I think both of these teams want to just wrap this up fast, and obviously University of New South Wales, they wanna wrap this up in their favor, but Ben looking for a very aggressive, scary shot. Christian chasing that ball off the wall. Ben meeting that on the other side, opposite corner. Christian a little bit too far away. Diggs is gonna be able to clear that ball out but Vesh over on blue side sending it back it's gonna be another corner roller once again but off the shot from the corner it finds its way in nobody able to save that one it was a quite the fast shot a bit of a sniper as you see Vesh unfortunately Kazi not able to get up to speed in time maybe didn't think that one was gonna go in honestly I thought that was gonna hit the post as well but 30 seconds remaining can the Saints maintain this pressure maintain this lead and prevent University of New South Wales from tying things up. Kazi taking that to the corner. Ben doing the same. Sending that to the center. Christian going for the shot. It's 4-2. Ladies and gentlemen, Saints are winning the series 3-0 unless New South Wales does something really impressive here, which I know they're capable of, but are the Saints going to let them? We'll have 23 seconds to find out. Yeah, we got 23 seconds left on the clock. A two-goal gap for New South Wales. It's not impossible. It is very improbable. The Saints looking very, very good. They would have to put down their controllers, leave this uncontested for this even to be a possibility for New South Wales. And even then, I don't even know if it would be possible. 10 seconds left on the clock. The net is wide open for New South Wales. They might be able to get one more in before the clock runs up. But Ben is going to seal the nail in the coffin. Big disruption no matter what. They cannot win and that is going to be St. Clair getting one game away from taking qualifying for the rest of the Uno Rocketeers now it is two to one for their record mm -hmm. and winning with a 3-0 sweep exactly once again ladies and gentlemen teams have to win three matches in order to qualify for the playoffs or if they lose three matches they are disqualified so the Saints are one more series away from making it to the playoffs being played tomorrow but of course 
losses are still a possibility. If they lose two more, they're going to be playing against other teams who are 2-1. Teams that are not slouches. We saw how good New South Wales was, and the Saints were still able to beat them. So that just means that the other teams who are going to be, you know, potentially facing off against the Saints next are also teams who are able to beat teams who are not slouches. So we're, we're going to be facing off a strong team in one way or the other. But the Saints are going to have to find the inner strength to come out on top in this next game if they want to make their path to victory just a little bit less scary. Yeah, they're going to have a tall order on their play, but we'll see what they're serving up after a quick break. We're going to throw it to a quick break, and we'll see you all very soon.